Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zachary Miner. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You'll get my videos as soon as it comes out. And like, share it to your friends, and let's get started. So, I haven't been consistent on this channel as much as I've been wanting to. Um, I've been kind of, not gonna lie, kind of slacking, kind of complacent. Um, and I'm working on getting better. I still love doing YouTube. It's, it's amazing. I love doing this because this is something that I've always wanted to do is entertain you guys and show you guys a little bit of part of my life as well as share a little bit about, you know, the Bible. So today's topic is forgive, forget, and move on. Um, this is something that has really, like, it, it's really been a, I would say, a very tough thing to do, considering the fact that, like, we all hold grudges. I mean, now we, we don't all hold grudges, but there, you know, there's something in our lives that just holds us back from being happy. And it's kind of one of those things where, like, you shouldn't let that get to you. You should just be like, all right, you know, this person made me upset, but I'm not going to let it control my day. You know what I'm saying? So just because someone makes you mad, don't let it ruin your day. You know, just, you know, move all that dust off and, you know, keep your head up. Keep your head up and keep going. Um, another thing is that forgiveness also leads to uh, great things, you know, because the thing is, is if you don't forgive, God doesn't forgive. It's in, uh, can't think of the, it, go look in the Bible, just search it up, type it in Google. Um, if not, there is a Bible app and you know, you know, it can tell you, you, you know, just do your research, basically. So, guys, be, life is not meant to be, like, oh, I'm awake again, I have to do this all over again. Just try to enjoy life, even if it sucks sometimes, try to enjoy what you got. Because if we focus on, if you focus on what you don't got right now, you'll, you know, you're, you'll live in misery for all your life. And you can't, I mean, having stuff is good, yes. Having good stuff, like materialistic stuff, like, um, like let's say I got this Chromebook. Not from school, of course, but, uh, you know, for, from one of my family members and I've wanted it for so long. Well, you have it. And then after so long, you're, you know, we end up taking things for granted, you know, so just be, be blessed what you got because not everyone has of what we got. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, bless others. And don't bless others just to be blessed. Bless others because you want to bless others. Do it for the right reason. Don't do it for, out of your selfish wants to want something in return. Okay? Some, like a smile, even. You, we should want to see smiles. You know? We, we shouldn't ask, be like, alright, I did something for you, now you did something for now you have to do something for me. That causes bitterness. That also leads to grudges. And that's back to forgiveness, you know. Um, forgetting is one of the hardest things that a human can ever do. Because forgetting is leaving it in the past. And keeping it in the past. A lot of us bring stuff up. That doesn't really matter anymore. Like. 
I wouldn't say everything we bring up is insignificant. Okay, your feelings and how you feel about stuff is very important. But you shouldn't let your emotions dictate on how your of how you think. So just because just because someone yelled at me like my boss if I had a you know I if I go to work and my boss yells at me and goes uh yeah I, I, you know boss could complain about anything and I go home and I go to my family with a bitter attitude that rubs off on other people so your bad attitude can also make other people have a bad attitude and the and it's negative energy is what I like to call it it's what people call it nowadays um, people can tell when you're upset so just I mean you can be upset we're humans we're meant to have emotions just like I said don't let it control how you think use common sense and logic like let, let God lead you one of the many things that people do wrong is that they just let the world and let everything else control them because it's the right thing to do. Don't listen to the world. Listen to your heart. Listen to God. Listen to the Word of God because that's what's going to get you from here to here. And it may not happen overnight. But you will see progress. Anything can happen. And we also have to make changes too. And I'm just as guilty as anyone. We want to change. We want to see change. But yet we don't want to take the necessary steps to change. If you want to change, it starts with you. Alright? It starts with you. I, and I'm not trying to, you know... I And, and I'm... It's a criticism of constructive. You know, you're building a good character. You're building character, okay? You're building a much better version of yourself if you forgive people, if you look at things as like, all right, you know, things aren't as bad as I thought they was. You know, because a lot of what we think is bad and what we're going through is the end of the world. Um, you know, it could be breakups, could be, uh, you know, my car got totaled. Um, it, 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 and it's more materialistic things. Now, people passing away, that's a completely different topic for a completely different YouTube video, okay? People passing away is very, you know, it's very heartbreaking. There's nothing you can do about it except for pray that there is peace in your heart and pray for your family. And I will touch on this a little bit. Um, when it does happen, you need to, you know, cry first. Don't hesitate to not cry. Okay, I, I'm... I know some of you guys out there, you, you're like, you know, I'm, if I cry, it's weak. Just know that you're holding back emotions that are just going to come anyways. So you're delaying the inevitable. Talk to someone who you trust, okay? Don't cry to just anybody. Because truth be told, and it sucks to say this, but not everybody cares about how we feel. Not everyone's going to pat you on the back and tell you everything's going to be okay. God will tell you everything's going to be okay. Um, this all goes back to, like, really, like, if you don't forgive people, it causes bitterness, and then people end up, you, like, you never know. You know what I mean? It, life, life is a curveball, to be honest with you. You don't know which way it's coming. It could be going from all directions. It may feel like the whole world's gonna tumble all over you, 
But in reality, God's got it. God has everything laid out in a specific way to not only benefit our lives, but benefit others, you know. Um, and, and I know this whole Ukraine-Russia crisis has really gotten people, you know, because I, like, I went to the store earlier and, you know, that's all people would talk about is Ukraine and Russia. Now, that, that is a big crisis, you know, I, I just want you guys to know that. That is a big war. Thousands of people have already died in the last week or two. Pray for Ukraine, okay? I'm just going to say that right now. Get it out of the way. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for peace in Europe. Because, honestly, God needs to be in the midst of that. And, like I said, pray for Ukraine. Uh, continue to support anything that you can do to uh, help bring peace to a, a fallen country that has been almost, well, I don't know, go read the news itself, I'm going to get off that topic, but what I'm saying is pray for them, they need it, they need all the love and support you can give them, pray for them, sign up for stuff if you have to, but only do it if it feels right in your heart. Like, all right, I prayed about it. And if God wants me to do this, I'm all in. You know, and, and I'm going to go back to the first topic of this video. But what I'm saying is, is that uh, just do what you, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of what to say here. Just listen to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide you in a much better direction instead of, you know, feeling like, oh, I feel good if I do it. Do it for the right reason. Do it for a country. I mean, do it for the continent, if anything. Europe needs a lot of, a lot of prayer and a lot of, um, a lot of help. Listen to Holy Spirit. Do what you gotta do. Help what you can do. And leave it in God's hands. Um. I love you. Yeah, I love Ukraine. I love. I, I. You know. I've researched so much about that country. Um. Just so much. It's crazy, but you know, I. I love. I love everybody, but. It's crazy. Uh, just continue to love them, pray for, or, you know, pray for them, do what you can do by helping them out. Um, now back to what I was saying, forgive and forgetting, well, moving on, I think is one of the biggest, they're all the biggest, you know, forgiving is hard by itself because not only you're like okay you gotta acknowledge the fact they did something bad to you now you gotta say to yourself I forgive you I forgive you no matter how bad you did me wrong no matter if you you what you did to me or my family or whatever it's hard to forgive it is it is very hard. We're all humans, and we all hold resentment and anger towards each other when it's not even worth it. Just love, love like I keep saying, love each other, respect each other, because life is crazy. You never know when you're going to go. You never know when your time is up. And... And that's what I'm saying. Like, if if you if you don't forgive someone, and they pass away, you gotta think, you gotta think to yourself. Well, geez, they're gone, and I held all this resentment towards them. 
Now I won't see them until I, until I'm gone. Look at it from a realistic perspective and not just your emotions. Don't let your emotions control the situation. A common sense, like a Holy Spirit, because that's, at the end of the day, that's who you need to listen to. You need to listen to God, you know, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. You know, other than that, respect your, you know, respect people as much as you can. I know it's, it's hard nowadays. It's hard more than ever because of it. Just so many bad things have happened, and and I know life is a curveball, and I know it's unpredictable. But you're awesome, and guys, I love you. I will see you tomorrow, and God bless you. Have a good night. Take care and peace.